Hey everyone, I'm Ophidian and this is my reptile combo guide. Mainly it's going to be combo based with notations, so I'm going to chime in here and there. But for the most part, I'm just going to give tips and let the notations speak for themselves, so hope you enjoy. This particular combo, 1-2, uh, combos with force ball. One thing you do need to know is 1-2-1 one, one, combos in the corner, so you get to get a little bit more damage there. Another thing that I'm not going to mention is some combos require you to run forward a little bit. But the thing is, it's so free-flowing. It's freestyle. You could step forward. You could dash forward. I'm going to let you figure that out on your own. I mean, it's, it's not that hard to recognize that. Like there, I did a step forward before the neutral jump punch. Very easy to figure out. Um, for the most part, when Reptile gets you to the corner, that's when he's going to do his damage meterless because uh, he definitely struggles to do damage off of most of his starters mid-screen unless he d will burn a bar, you know, unless he decides to burn a bar. 2-1-2, 4 is a great string because it opens players up. A lot of times you'll... You'll do 2-1 and stay plus, start of the string and do something else. But it happens a lot where 2-1, 2-4 opens players up on the third and fourth tier. Converting for damage out of that particular combo you just saw there is great. And it has a lot of corner carry. Basically anything you can do to get them to the corner is really what you want with Reptile. So uh, later in my uh, nimble combos, you will see combos that are specific to bring them to the corner. Back one down four is a great sneaky string that works because uh, it does have a low and you can cancel into the force ball. But just be careful if they start blocking that. It is full combo punishable because they can jump over the force ball and get that free jump in. But, you know, use it sparingly. Use it while you can against certain opponents that uh, aren't able to block it yet but eventually they will know. These are reverse corner carries. Um, I am going to show a few of these in the video so that you can see what you would do to bring them back to the corner. Back two is a great combo to use meter. Um, it did get buffed at one point, so now it does hurt a little bit more than it used to. This is back to with corner carry, reverse corner carry, so that you can be back in the corner. Force ball is actually, the fast force ball uh, using meter is actually really good uh, off of the back three whenever you're considering playing a variation other than deceptive because um, it's not as punishable as the claw is. And the frame data of saying it's negative 14 is actually wrong. It's a, uh, the effect, the EX fast force ball is actually not negative 14. It's more like negative 10. And of course these combos in the corner where you see down three slide, uh, that's, those are very uh, specific to the height of the character. They do work on females or males, it doesn't matter, but it's gonna depend on the height that you get them whenever you do a down three. So here, I'm, ex I'm explaining that overhead is expected for Reptile. So combos like 4-4 four, four into the slide will catch people off guard quite a bit. And now with the most recent buff, you can combo off of Meter Burn Slide. And in the corner, that's that's where you're going to do it because mid-screen you really can't. Unless it's you know nimble or something like that. But for the most part, you can get a lot of damage out of this. And it's great because it works very consistently. On this combo I just showed, 4-2-1 with Acid Spit. Acid Spit hurts a lot more than it used to, and of course if you get 4-2-1 you might want to leave them standing. This combo here is the alternative to the 40%. Uh, J360's kick with uh, standing 4 would be the uh, 42, and it's, you know, it's 2% more. It, it's pretty difficult to do on most characters, so you know, I'll leave it up to you to decide which one you want to do. For me, I, I like the easy stuff whenever it comes to tournament, for sure. 
I think Milky would agree. He's kind of on the same page with that. He, Milky knows about all of these combos. He knows big damage combos like this, but he will go with the more consistent route every time because that's that's what you do. You know, when you're playing to win or you're playing in tournament, and you don't want anything to mess you up. These like these neutral jump combos in the corner after that dash. Trust me, that is not an easy combo to do whenever you are in pressure or you know under a little bit of nerves i know some people may say they don't get nervous but trust me everybody gets a little bit nervous and you want to do what's most comfortable for you here's neutral jump combos from here on out you're going to see some of those and then i'm going to get into the variations and i'm going to talk about what each variation means because really for Reptile, variations are just trait based. It's almost like Injustice where each variation is a trait. You have Deceptive, which gives you invisibility. You have Nimble, which slows down time. And then you have Noxious, which has these damage over time, poison gas. And it's actually very safe and not very meter dependent, so that's good. So first up is Deceptive. Deceptive is the variation with great pressure. It has the invisibility that really messes with people. It makes them respect you while you're invisible a lot. And uh, it allows for mix-ups that maybe they can't see them as well. Like the back one down four, when you're invisible, it may be hard for people to react to it, but you can still see the tongue. The tongue is still slightly visible when he does back one down four. So uh, a, a really good person in the matchup will see it. The main deal is you do get plus pressure off of 4412 into the invisibility you are completely safe you're actually plus a small amount and there, there's all these strings that you can convert from invisibility so that's great too it does have to be meter burn unfortunately but hey and nimble is the stance that converts for the most damage if you do happen to open somebody up in nimble you can really make it hurt. So if you're if you're about the damage, then Nimble is definitely the one for you. See off of back one down four, you can actually convert Nimble for 40% mid screen. It doesn't matter if you're near the corner or not. If you go into four four one two, I enjoy doing slides to build almost a half a bar of meter, and it has full corner carry. I know you can do four four slide, but uh, I mean it's it's really worth the meter for me. You can do up to 50% in the corner with Nimble, so I would say, you know, that's that's great. You can do 50% in other variations as well, but it doesn't... It costs more meter, for sure. And see, the distance from the corner really matters because you don't need 4-4 slide whenever you're the right distance from the corner to still get 40%. It just depends on that. And now Noxus, which is one of my favorite variations at the time, uh, I really enjoy the meterless abilities of Noxious. I really enjoy knocking people down and activating gas because it is quite safe. It's not completely safe, but it's pretty safe on a lot of characters in this game. And you can combo off of 3 4 into the poison gas for high meterless damage. I mean, there's 41%. It's not the, the most practical one. I showed you the practical one beforehand. But, you know, in the corner, getting 40% is a very common thing for Noxus. Off that 3-4, which typically it'll be a punish. Maybe you'll get a jump in and then 3-4. Because 3-4 is... 3 is a high, and it's not that great on the startup. So you don't depend on this very often. You might get poked or, you know, you may exchange in a bad way. But it's okay. 3-4, still great. It's a great punish for a lot of the characters in the game. This combo right here is an easy 42 if you want something easy. It does cost a bar, but hey, I mean, it's great. And if you do want to let some bars go with Noxious in the corner, you can do combos like this. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. I want to give a shout out to uh, my boy Milky Situation. Uh, great reptile, doing great things for the community, streaming every day, almost. I mean, so much you can learn from him. Uh, Cosner, one of the best reptiles. Um, Christy, one of the best reptiles. 
J360 doing so much for the combos and tech of Reptile. Also, uh, Combo Cody, uh, Fraud Blank, all those guys. Uh, if I forgot anybody, sorry. I mean, it's, I'm trying to get this wrapped up, but huge shout outs to the Reptile community in general. And uh, expect to see some more guides from me soon. I'm going to do setup guides and uh, more in depth guides on the variations, but this was just a uh, combo guide to get you started. Thanks for watching.